on to activity 5 using word processing software. It goes on to say task WP1, Sammy is preparing for the annual awards evening. She needs to write letters to the players who have been nominated for the player of the year award. Okay, so this is the scenario that this activity is based on. Open a new document using word processing software. Enter these details in the foot of the document and save your document as task WP1. Okay, so we go into our folder, we right click and say new word document and we are supposed to give it the name task WP1. Okay, and then get into your file immediately and type your details in there. So, uh, go right to the bottom and we type uh, task WP1 name candidate number and then we go on to give the center number. Once we are done with that, uh, it goes on to say create a letterhead. Now all of uh, you all should be knowing a letterhead is an official document of a company where generally you will have the company name on the top and at the bottom of the letter you will have the company's contact details such as address, telephone number, email, website. These kind of details will be there at the bottom. Also at the top the company's logo will also be present. Okay, And then the middle area will be kept blank so that companies can type official documents inside it. Okay, So that's what we call a company letterhead. Okay, So create a letterhead using the contact details from the scenario on page 3 and the logo you created in part A of task AG1. Okay, So uh, let's go to page number 3 which is over here and we have the company's name. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is my A4 paper. Let's just make sure there's an A4 paper, layout, size, and let's make sure it is an A4 paper. So over here in this area, I'm going to have the company logo over here and then I'm going to have the company name over here. And normally we do have the contact, certain companies keep the contact details at the bottom, certain keep it at the top. Uh, since the footer is there, I'm going to keep the company's contact details also on the top. So first let me get the logo into place. Okay, the logo is uh, CBL, which we created at the beginning of the paper. And I'm going to paste it over here. And uh, what I'm going to do over here is, uh, I'm going to be making it a little bit smaller, just too big, uh, smaller. And then what I'm going to do is click on the image, come to picture format, and come to wrap text, and say you want it to be behind text. This particular option allows you to freely move the image as you wish. Okay, now previously I'm going to undo what I just did undo and again undo look over here I cannot move the image freely as I wish okay so if I want to move it freely I come to picture format wrap text behind text and now I am free to move the image as I wish let's keep a small cap over there and then over here I'm going to have the company name so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a text box insert text box and then I'm going to draw a text box over here something like this and uh, the name of the company goes as Croatian Badminton League. So let's keep it all in caps. Croatian Badminton League. Okay. Um, so what I would do is I would generally go for something like center aligned, bold it, underline it, Wait, underline not necessary. It looks better. And I'm going to get rid of this box, so I'll click on this and then say shape format, shape outline. There should be no outline over there. So I have the name of the company as well and then I also have to put the contact details. So uh, obviously we do not type all these contact details over here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll open another text box over here, insert draw text box, something like this from here to here. And I'm going to be typing the company's contact details. So Windows left, we close this, and Windows right. Uh, so I have it over there. Company's contact details go as uh, all caps lock. Then go to Republic of Ireland. Uh, so I do have that as well. And then I'm going to just type here address, something like this. And I'm going to just type here telephone. It goes as 020-916-2018. I'm just going to keep a space, put a line over there. Another space, and I'm going to say email. S A M M I W at C R S H A. Space, space, website, 
Okay, so I have my details over there, and then what I'm just going to do is make this font smaller, one bit smaller, so it'll all fit inside one box. Center align it. If you like, you can bold it. I can off bold. I prefer it to be bold and a bit smaller. Once again, I want to get rid of this box, so I'm just going to click on this, come to shape format, shape outline, and say no outline. Uh, okay, once that is done, uh, there's a small mistake over here, website. Okay, that too is done. So uh, let's go back to our question. Just make sure we have put all the in details that are needed to be placed. Uh, okay, the logo you created in part task here, that also has been done. Resave task WP1. And then he goes on to say the text for the letters is stored in awards. Copy the text from awards into task WP1. So let's do that. Uh, it's in awards, open awards. And then let's copy all this text, control C, and do we come over here, oh sorry, Put the cursor over here at the end of this, and press enter, it's moving down, and what we do, we just double click over here, control V. Okay, then the question paper goes on to say, edit the document by uh, adding today's date in a suitable location. So today's date in a suitable location, so generally the date comes first in a letter, write a line, insert uh, date and time I'm just going to go with the second format and say if you want now they haven't said that it should be updated automatically or not okay so since they haven't said I'm not going to tick this box I'm going to untick it but if they do say it should be updated automatically do not forget to uh, tick that particular box so I have the date over here and then it goes on to say the appropriate complementary close so generally we enter a letter with uh, yours faithfully Okay, and then um, the name of the sender of the letters, making sure that you leave enough space for a signature. So we keep enough space for a signature. Shift dash will give you an underscore. And then this line appears, just say control EZ, which means undo it. It comes back to normal. The name of the sender, so the person who is sending, if you check this scenario, it says uh, Sammy. So we need to write Sammy. What was Sammy's full name? It's in page number three. Page Sammy's full name is Sammy Weston. Weston, Sammy Weston, and we also need to mention his role, so his job here is organizer, organizer, Croatian Badminton League, okay, so it would be much better if he could, you know, bold this, control B, and then if we move on again down all the way over here, it says, uh, Appropriate formatting the subject line so that it stands out. Okay, so this is the uh, subject line of the letter. Let's keep a line space. Let's keep a line space after this as well. And let's make this stand out. So let's make it bold, underlined, center aligned. This is the heading of the letter. Then it goes on to say, uh, resave task WP1. Do not print at this stage. It's done. Then it says the nominee spreadsheet contains details of the nominated players. Add merge fields to task WP1 that will replace the text in brackets with appropriate information from the spreadsheet. So we have over here the people whom the letter should be going to. Their details are inside this Excel sheet. The details inside this Excel sheet is supposed to be appearing over here, here, and here. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. We're going to be using mail merge. So what I'll be doing is I'll be coming to the mailing tabs and saying select my recipients i want to use my contacts so i'm going to be using an existing list since it has already been created and i'll be selecting my list my list is on the uh, desktop so here inside 2018 inside uh, nominees so i'm going to open that and they're asking is this the sheet yes this is the sheet okay so now my contacts are inside the microsoft word document all i have got to do is i have got to say over here, the recipient's name and address is supposed to come. So I come to insert merge field, which is inside the mailing tab. Come over here. So we first put title, Mr. Mrs. whatever, title. Then do not forget to keep a space. And then put the first name, space, last name. 
also address is supposed to come normally the address does not come in the same line as the name so we will take it to the next line and we could say um, street space uh, town okay so now we can get rid of this particular part since the information has been entered which is it is this area then over here it says enter recipient's name so i'm going to select this area over here and i'm just going to be putting the first name is enough here and over here the team name is supposed to be coming so i'm going to just come over here and i'm going to be putting the team name over here the team name okay make sure there is a space yes there is a space over here uh, there are no other fields to be merged over here then the question paper goes on to say resave task wp1 resave it and then it goes on to say print task wp1 on one side of a4 showing the merge field so when you come to control p if you can see your merge field and if the printer is printing it showing these merge fields then it's okay if not if not you will be having to take a screenshot so it says you may not you may be using a software that does not allow you to show the merge fields in a printout of a standard letter if so take a screenshot and uh, uh okay so if not you're supposed to be taking a screenshot and pasting that screenshot over there okay so then it goes on to say sammy wants to check and sign the letters before they are posted produce the merge letters using task uh, wp1 and the nominee spreadsheet do not make any changes to the letters so now we're supposed to produce the letter so we come to the mailing step we click on finish and merge and we say edit individual documents all of them say okay so now you can see over here a separate document this is document having my merge fields over here the fields have been merged okay you can see the team name address all that is over here i have three uh, different letters okay so this is my merge document a new document has been created called letters one i am supposed to be uh, save the merge letters as task wp1d so i come over here click on save and they ask me where do you want to save it so uh, no save options i come to the desktop 2018 and save it as task wp1d and then it goes on to say uh, print one of the merge letters on one side of a4 so you're expected to print one of the letters only so control p and do not print all pages instead just print current page just one particular page and go on to click on print it so that's the end of this paper and uh, if you do have any questions any doubts anything which you did not understand please feel free to uh, comment below or you can also um, email me okay thank you very much for watching